This is trickery. This is deceit by fraud. They're pretending that they're getting consent. Yeah. Like, and you got people in those. Like, and I'll go back to what my what my sister-in-law said last night. Hey, brother, these old fellows here, they say, what's this all about? That's, they were there spending half a million dollars feeding people last night and paying people for robbery and dancing. Hey? And they don't know what's going on. And, the, and them old people, they don't know what's going on. The people in the community didn't even know what's going on. is now running around trying to help the government. And this thing here that's going on here, yeah. mate, this is a bad door job here. Yeah. So yeah, how's this thing with this? It was shameful today to watch. Yeah. Mm. It was it was really, back, really yeah. horrible. You've got to work out who's going to vote. That's the that's what they've got to ask there tomorrow. If they're going to take this on, they're going to say, well, who has the right to vote about what goes on from here? And it should only be the delegates. It should only be the delegates. Yep. who vote, and that's what they've got to say. Yep. Otherwise, they're going to get blocked out because they've stacked the meeting yes. with Northern Territorians, right? They've stacked it really well, and they've stacked it to Queensland. Right? You heard the Torres Strait Islanders there. The Torres Strait Islanders not going to go with them. No. What about the, did they come to something? And that young Victorian fella, he kept asking, he, he kept saying, what, can we de decide a treaty and negotiate a treaty without a constitutional, any constitutional um, amendments. And you see, and I'm sitting there because I can't say anything. Like we had five barristers, you know, two, sorry, three barristers and two QCs advising the NAC yeah. when we were doing all the treaty stuff. Yeah, and we and they showed us how under the existing Australian constitution there is constitutional power already there that allows the Commonwealth Government to negotiate treaties with Aborigines. You don't have to change the Constitution. The power's already there. And these fellas are trying, and I wanted to say that, yep. you know, and I could identify. Section 51, the, the race power and the foreign power, yeah? And so we can use, use um, um, international law to underpin the, 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 the treaty process here. We, we can use that, yeah? So we can, we can be governed because Australia are, in fact, signed up to the Vienna Convention and we can get the, uh, have the Vienna Convention and other international laws, human rights laws, underpinning the sovereignty that we negotiate and we can do that under, section, under that foreign power under Section 51 and then they do it with a, with, a, with a race of people separate from... So we're not citizens of Australia and this is why they don't want to go down that road because we are not citizens of Australia and when they pass laws for Aboriginal people, and this is what these fellows don't want anyone to tell us about, when they pass those laws, they're passing laws in this Commonwealth for Aboriginal race, not for, the, not for, pop, not for citizens, for the Aboriginal race. And so if they do that there, then that's a foreign treaty with a foreign power, foreign group of people. But, you know, these fellows here, they, they got us gagged. Like, I'd like to stand up and tell them all that, explain it. 